So, that's what you need to know. Now, footballers in hell. Footballers. 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 Are you tired? Wait. I then saw a 12 year old boy who was a footballer. I asked the Lord why he was there. And the Lord said, because he was into occult. His teacher led him into this practice so he could be a great footballer. He was taken to an occultist for charms and special oil to play well. I also saw another footballer from Brazil. He went to a wizard to help him play in the league. He refused to go back to thank the wizard. So he died on the pitch one day while playing a football match. I also saw Mark Vivian Foy, the Cameroonian footballer who died during a football match in France in 2003. He went to the Queen of the Courts for powers to play in the African Cup of Nations. After obtaining the powers, he was supposed to sacrifice his mother to the Queen of the Courts, but he refused to do it. So during that fateful day, a spirit from the water, water kingdom struck his heart and killed him instantly on the beach. So he was in hell for the occultism. In hell, I saw him holding a human school. These footballers, you clap and say, I am for Chelsea. I am for what again? Manchester. <laughs> you are for, you, I'm telling you, and they take over the church of Christ from you. To the point that some churches now, the only way they could do to control their members and bring them to church is to carry the television to the church and say, come, after the football, we will watch it in the church. After we finish watching, they will continue with service. They serve demon and serve God in the same place. Ye cannot serve two masters. That's it. See them here. All those powers. They are demonic powers that the devil is using. Those people have acquired, they kill human beings. Can somebody kill human beings and be playing something for and say, hey, you join him. You are applauding him for what he has done. The Lord is revealing this thing that you don't perish in your life. You don't sell your soul to football. You don't sell your soul. Abstain from all appearances of evil. Yes. Footballers and fans on their way to hell. I was then shown many teams and their supporters on their way to hell through the tunnels. The first team I saw was Chelsea Football Club. They were being led by Ivanovic and followed by the other players in a straight line. They all had diverse items in their hands. Some had incense, <laughs> this anointing oil, sacred rings, and other things. Some had incense, oil, sacred rings, and other things. I was then shown how all those who followed and supported this team with their hearts were all following them in the tunnel to have fire. There are people who are wearing some type of chain, rubber chain, a ba or bangle, or ba rubber band, or a rubber band, and say, I am for Chelsea, I am uh, Manchester. I am. And during matches, if you see how brutal they are to each other, the same spirit. They feel, oh, bet me who is going to win this match. Are you for Chelsea? Chelsea will win. Bet me who again. And they begin to cheer themselves. That thing you are wearing will take you to hell. That thing you are wearing in your hand. And some people have designed another one. They say, I am for Jesus. The same spirit. Are you getting it now? The same spirit. I am for Chelsea. I am for Manchester. Or oh, another one, I am for Jesus. Go to Bible. I am for Paul, I am for Apollos, I am for Cephas, I am for Jesus. Same spirit of division. Same spirit. Going to the same place. It's strive that is causing those things. 
Remove the spirit of joy and come into unity. That thing you're wearing, some churches are giving their people these bands to wear in their hands. Just because the world is the one dictating for them. Before these people started wearing it for football, were they wearing it for church? It's the world that is dictating it. You're following the world. What is that? It's dirty in the sight of God. It's unclean. When they wear it and say, I am for Jesus, I am for, I am for which church? I am for, are they for Jesus in their hearts? So, I was then shown Ronald, Ronaldino and certain young boys in the, in the age range of, age range of 8 to 13 years. These boys were learning to play like him. I then saw a strange looking demon in the various, in the various forms. Namely, form of a woman, of a monkey, and had wings like a bat. This is the demon that seemed to play well. So, when this boy started rehearsing, this demon manifests and enters them. I saw him and all his fans, supporters, and the boys who are seeking to play like him, walking in the tunnel on their way to hellfire. The next football star I saw was Kaka. Eh? Kaka? Kaka. You know, we're not watching this thing. So, we don't know their names. I give the pronunciation as I know because I've not had it before. He had a Bible in his right hand and a football in the left hand. I then saw a demon come to him and told him, follow me and I will show, I will show you the path of life. This demon then took the Bible and placed it in his left hand and the football in his right hand. Sadly, this demon was leading him to, to hell too. I then saw a man who told him in Portuguese, in Portuguese that you can be a Christian, but everything you want to do in football, I will do it for you. This man then did some rituals and a demon appeared. Then he put some liquid liquids upon his head and the demon entered into him. He then began to play skillfully. I saw Brazilian teenage footballers all following him to hell. I was then shown some people who were walking silently to hell and they were the Brazilian football teams. I asked the Lord Jesus, what have they done? And he said, it is because of idolatry. This people, he said this because football is a god, and those who support it will eventually end up in hell. I then saw Pele went into a cemetery at night to invoke a demon. This demon came to the players, and strange oil was rubbed on them, and they were asked not to touch any woman. Then I saw a strange demon, the body of carp. This demon was leading the team, including the old, play, including the old players like Pele and others. I also saw the majority of the Brazilians following them silently to hell because of the passion for football. I saw many footballers using rings, special oils, and other occult paraphernalia to play to ply their trade. However, the sad thing is all these players were walking straight to hell together with their supporters. I saw the France football team, also led by Zidane and other former players. Their fans and supporters were all following them to hell. And after this, I then saw the Egyptian national team, led by Abu Tekka. And all were on their way to hell as well. The team was being led by two demons in the form of cows. The major demon which helped them win the African Cup of Nations seven times was Osiris. I was then shown all the teams of the world, including the national team of Ghana, the Black Stars, being followed by their supporters and fans. I then asked the Lord Jesus why it is so. And he said, because 
they all belong to the enemy and are involved into the occult practices. Then they say, I shall warn them that no one who is into occult can come to his kingdom. I saw all the football clubs arranged in levels on their way to hell silently and followed closely by their fans. All the young boys who were following the, 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 the professional footballers were all following them to hell. Some of these boys do not go to the fetish themselves, but their teachers and coaches go for the occult powers and give them instructions on how to do, how to do, or what to do. So, Christian and football. I was then shown two Christian teams playing a football match, and demons came there in the form of beers to sit and watch the match. They were so happy and waving, hmm, demons waving at Christian playing football. Had demons also appeared from the ground and led the match, as though they had the coaches, and even when Christians were playing a match, the demons had a right to be present, because football is a game which was designed by Lucifer to deceive many into hell. I then saw a different church match, and one man went to consult Occult to win the match. He was given a clock to go to the cemetery to sleep there for twelve and um, to sleep there from twelve midnight to six AM. He then placed the clock near the opposite opposing churches. Opposing churches all so that they win the match. The other team too had a man go to another fetish who gave him a strange liquid which he sprinkled on their jerseys. The demons then possessed the players and they played by the power of dwarfs on the field. <coughs> now, have you gotten this thing now? Now, have you gotten this thing now? As a game of exercise, as you see children play football in the house, no evil. But the, way, the more it grows, the more Satan takes over.